water sources. Objectives After completing this chapter, the students will be able to Explain the process of water cycle. Identify reason by which water gets dirty. Select correct ways of using water. Know how to save water. Where does the water go? As we know that when it rains, water gets logged around the area we live in. However, it disappears some time later. Where does the water go? Do you know? Let us see. Water in air. When sun shines. Water get evaporated and it changes into water vapors, gas. These water vapors go up in the air to form clouds. Due to decrease in temperature. These clouds cool down again to drop back as rain. Water under the ground. Some of the rain water seeps down from the top layer of soil and gets collected over a bed of hard rocks under the ground. This is called, groundwater. Groundwater keeps the soil moist. We can get, groundwater with the help of, wells, and pumps and tube wells. Water shortage. As all us, know that, Rhine water and, groundwater are the two, main sources of water, for most places. No doubt. Our country, has a large number of, rivers but still, people face the problem of water shortage. Water shortage. Shortage for cultivation. In cultivation, people face water shortage when there is less rainfall and rivers dry up. At that time, there is no more water for irrigation. Water shortage. Shortage for domestic needs. Water table is getting low and people have to get water from jarl board. People can store less water for their domestic needs so they face water shortage. How does water get dirty? People use river water for many different things such as washing clothes, bathing animals, and cleaning utensils. Many of these activities make the water of river dirty. By washing clothes. In rural areas, women wash their clothes in river water. This makes the water polluted. People should try to avoid washing their clothes in the rivers. By bathing animals. In rural areas, People bathe their cattle in the river. This makes the water dirty. People should bathe their cattle far away from the river water. By cleaning utensils. When people clean their utensils in the river, the water gets polluted. People should not clean their utensils in the river water. They should use a bucket to clean the utensils and use their, used water for, watering plants. By throwing garbage. Garbage like plastics. Human waste makes the rivers dirty. We should never throw garbage in the rivers. We should keep our rivers clean. By factory chemical. Waste from chemical factory makes the water of river poisonous. Even fishes cannot live in this dirty water. Save water. Water is one of the most important needs of living things. Water is a limited source. We can save water in very easy and successful ways. Here are a few tips using which you can save water. Do not run water while brushing. When you are brushing your teeth or washing your hands, do not keep the water running always. We should always use a mug while brushing the teeth. 
we should always close the taps after using it. Car and bike washing. We should always use a bucket of water to wash our bike or car. We should always use a bucket instead of a pipe. Repair all leaks. We should always repair leaky faucets and turn off the taps tightly so that it doesn't leak. Even a small drop of water should not be wasted. A small drop can waste tons of water. Cleaning walkways. We should always use a broom, not a pipe, to clean driveways and walkways. Washing dishes. When you wash the washing dishes with the help of your hands, then you should avoid water wastage while rinsing the dishes and pots. We should use a pan for washing fruits and vegetables. This can help you save a lot of water. Use drip irrigation. Farmers should use drip irrigation system for watering their fields. Used water for watering. We should always use used water for watering plant. For example, after washing vegetables, we can use this water for watering plants. Do not use shower. We should not use the shower for taking bath. We should always use a bucket for taking bath. Rainwater harvesting. One of the best ways of increasing the availability of water is to collect and store rainwater for later use. This way of collecting the rainwater is called as rainwater harvesting. 